Blood Warlock, Succubus Partner in the Apocalypse, Chapter 1, Soul Records. In a room belonging to the male dormitory of Beijing University. This weather is really killing me, Baizeman complained lightly as he looked at the world through the window. Rain was falling as if a deluge had beaten down on the world. The sound of the water drops hitting the window pane was soothing but he could not appreciate the benefit. For the past year, the world's weather had become absurd from one day to the next. Deserts were suddenly flooded with all kinds of storms, and the Earth's poles began to defrost due to high temperatures. However, this was not all. Even when icy places like Antarctica began to thaw overnight, the next day temperatures plummeted again, freezing everything over. Scientists simply had no way of explaining the phenomenon, However, as a consequence of this, the major nations of the world practically forced the rest of the smaller countries to be careful with pollution, attributing everything that had happened to malfunctions in the planet's protective layer. Now, even if the sun shone brightly, people always carried umbrellas in their hands, fearing a sudden storm. As if this wasn't enough, I have to go to work in this damn storm. By Zeman sighed to himself and turned around to look for warmer clothes from the closet. By Zeman was just a normal 20 year old student. His father was a small civil employee with no power, and his mother taught English at an elementary school. On the other hand, when he was still 12, his mother brought home a pretty girl who was three years younger than him. Her name was Meng Ki. Her parents had passed away, leaving her alone since no other family member wanted to take care of her. His mother, being the best friend of Meng Ki's mother, decided to take care of the girl. Since then, the four of them had been living together, and currently, Meng Ki was a student at a prestigious high school in the capital. He would be attending the same university as Bai Zemin next year. As Bai Zemin was rummaging through his clothes, the whole world seemed to shudder fiercely as many things began to move from their places. Quickly, he held onto the closet tightly, preventing it from collapsing on top of his body and crushing him. Baizemin felt something strange inside of him, as if he had been punched hard in the stomach, knocking the wind out of him. His face turned pale, and he had the urge to vomit, barely restraining himself. After about ten seconds, everything seemed to return to normal. Things stopped moving, the paintings that were on the wall that had been saved from falling to the ground no longer threatened to fall, and the sound of the rain falling fiercely could be heard again. The choking and suffocating sensation that Baizemin had felt a moment ago disappeared, and the cold coming through the broken windows embraced his body. However, he could no longer worry about the cold, the rain, or the previous Earth's shaking. Soul Records has arrived on planet Earth. You can now view your status window whenever you wish. The first time, the window will open as a test. What is this? He muttered to himself as he read the strange green message that had appeared on his retina. By Zemin, level zero. Race, human. Job, none. Idol, none. Strength, 12 out of 10. Agility, 11 out of 10. Health, 10 out of 10. Stamina, 10 out of 10. Mana, 109 out of 10. Magic, 109 out of 10. Baizemin's body was slim, but under his clothes were hidden very nice muscles due to his constant work as well as training. Considering that the number in parentheses shown in his status window was the base for a normal human being, the condition of his body was quite decent. Magic? He looked at the word magic with wide eyes. Magic. A classic element of fantasy movies and light novels. Now, not only had a strange window appeared that seemed to display his physical talents, but the attribute magic had also appeared on him. Interesting. To think that I would meet a human with a high aptitude for magic as soon as I arrived in this lower world. Seductive. Playful and even a bit innocent voice sounded from behind him, blocking him from thinking any further about the events that had occurred. Baizemin turned around only to be stunned. 
beautiful woman capable of provoking wars between nations, was there when clearly no one was there before. Her skin was pale white with no imperfections and seemed to glow in the light, contrasting with her black hair that fell like a waterfall to the bottom of her back. Her eyes were a striking red that shone like two beautiful rubies. Black one-piece dress hugged her seductive curves, clinging to her body tightly, exposing only her two slender arms and two long, slender legs that could make even a saint drool. Baizemin had never seen such a beautiful woman in his entire life. The woman before him not only had a seductive and charming aura, also had an innocent expression that did not seem to match with her body. However, before he could even ask for anything, several sounds and cries coming from outside made his body instinctively move to the window to see what was happening. Outside, the world he knew had changed, and what his eyes saw now was no longer the same thing he had seen just a moment ago. People were running everywhere, screaming and begging for help as they tried with all their might to get away from other people. However, the scariest thing was that there was many people eating other people as if they were beasts. Help! Pretty girl was running for her life as she looked behind her, getting as far away from one of those strange people as possible. In an oversight, she tripped against a stone and fell to the ground. Watch out! Baizemin unconsciously shouted. Unfortunately, it was already too late. One of those strange people, with its bloody mouth, caught the girl who had fallen and fiercely bit one of the young girl's arms, making her cry out in pain. The young girl screamed painfully as she tried to free herself. Her expression was truly pitiful. Unfortunately for her, none of the people running could be bothered with her as they were too preoccupied trying to save their own lives. Soon, her body stopped moving. However, a few moments later, the girl stood up and began to stagger slowly as she chased after the noise. Seeing this, Baizemin's complexion turned pale as he suddenly realized that these strange creatures were practically identical to the zombies from the Resident Evil movies. Ah, what's that? Baizemin was shocked when he saw a bee the size of a human fist suddenly buzzing toward a zombie. The zombie didn't even react to the attack when the bee's huge stinger pierced its head, directly crushing its brain and killing it on the spot. The bee opened the zombie's head and began to eat something. After a few moments, its body seemed to grow a few more inches before it stopped. As if sensing something, B left the zombie's corpse and shot straight towards the male dormitory. Baizemin's face changed when he saw that strange bee charging towards him. B's speed was really fast, and in just a few blinks, it had crossed the broken window, aiming its sharp, blood-stained stinger at his face. Baizemin reacted on instinct. His right hand reached out and grabbed a wooden chair next to him. Without even th- taking a second to think, he struck forward with all his strength. The wooden chair impacted hard against the bee, sending it flying against the adjoining wall. Seeing that the bee had fallen to the ground but was still moving, Baizemin raised the chair above his head and struck the bee's body fiercely three times before the creature stopped moving. A white energy orb shot out of the giant bee's body and entered his body. You have gained... Level 5, Big B's Soul Power, Agility, plus 2, Strength, plus 2. You have reached level 1. You have acquired 2 status points to distribute freely. Two messages flashed before Baizemin's retina. He was surprised to discover how that strange energy seemed to nourish his muscles and bones, making his body more powerful quickly. What is this? Baizemin quickly stepped forward to pick up what was next to the bee's corpse. Blood manipulation, first order skill, level 5. You can control the blood flow of your body or the blood of your enemies to some extent. The effect of the skill depends on the user's magical power, mana, and imagination. Strange, blood red scroll was in his hands. The scroll emanated a sinister aura, and although it was clean and smooth, 
It gave off a faint smell of blood from its interior. That's a really powerful skill. A somewhat surprised explanation brought him out of his thoughts. Because of everything that had happened, and because he had almost lost his life a few moments ago, Baizemin had forgotten the woman who had suddenly appeared in his room. He turned around and looked at the beautiful woman cautiously. Even though she was beautiful, with all the strange things going on, he didn't care. Who are you? Baizemin asked in a deep voice as he gripped the chair in his hands. Temporarily, it was his only weapon. There was no choice. The beauty giggled softly. Her face changed from innocent to charming like a seductress. My name is Lilith, a sixth order succubus belonging to the demon faction. 